Uh, it's an honor to be here today with so many of my good friends. Uh, Vice Premier Young, thank you for making the time to speak to this distinguished group. The work of the China General Chamber of Commerce is necessary, maybe now more than ever, as our two countries continue to work together to have an open dialogue around trade and commerce. It's important that the productive economic relationship of our two countries continue in the coming years. It's now my pleasure to introduce Ambassador Gary Locke, but first I'd like to welcome Mike Bloomberg, who I've known, I guess, for 40 years, who will be speaking later. It's quite a lineup, and also Penny Pritzker is here, the uh, Secretary of Commerce and the Administration, and Mike Froman, uh, who I saw basically popped up, and I didn't know you were going to be here. Uh, it's uh, Ambassador Locke impressed the Chinese public with his humble approach to the office while serving in Beijing as our ambassador and helped strengthen ties on everything from working to curb the proliferation of nuclear weapons in North Korea, combating piracy off the coast of Africa, and coordinating joint UN peacekeeping operations to encourage collaboration between our science communities on pandemics and climate change. Following two successful terms as the governor of the state of Washington, as the first Asian American governor in the continental United States, and the only Chinese American governor of any state, Gary was appointed to serve as US ambassador to China and was the first Chinese American in that role. He speaks frequently of how warmly he was received by the Chinese during the time in Beijing. Serving as US ambassador to China is no small thing. Not only is our embassy there one of the largest we have anywhere in the world, the job oversees one of the most important bilateral relationships that the US maintains. Trade is the oldest form of globalization contributed greatly to encouraging peace, prosperity, knowledge, and yes, sometimes even tension. Having representatives capable of navigating this balancing act is immensely important. And Ambassador Locke knows the benefits of engagement between China and the rest of the world through commerce. 